Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool Western Electric Princess Desk Rotary Telephone. And this is a very early model Princess Telephone and this is Pam's Telephone from Louisiana. And so, basically, uh, we're going to kind of run through a little bit. Uh, Pam has a note here, and she's talking about how she wants this telephone converted over to an LED light system. And so we're going to go ahead and do that, and that's why I have the light bulb socket, and this is our LED bulb. So, basically, what we're going to do is, we'll get into that a little bit later, but... Uh, she also has some different parts and she has uh, picked this handset up and what she wants is this handset installed on this telephone here and she's got it marked. She also, and we're going to set that to the side here now, she also has another body and so she wants this cover installed on this telephone. So we're going to be installing this cover and that receiver that she sent along with this telephone. Now, in the process of going to an LED light and even to light the light bulb, you basically have to have a transformer for these telephones. And the way they used to do that in the old days is they would have a transformer and they would run some telephone line down the baseboard of your, of your house and then they would go into the telephone jack where the original line cord here, she's got a really uh, nice original line cord and it, it's, it's probably 15, 16 feet long I would assume and where it would go into the jack and be hardwired they would come up the other set of a uh, pair of wires in this line cord and feed the telephone voltage so Basically, uh, we don't uh, arrange or design out the situation like that any longer because you can't expect the customer to uh, hardwire a transformer into the jack and, and all that. And with the second line issues nowadays, uh, you just never know where you're going to be sending that voltage and things like that. So we don't design them like that any longer. We take a transformer and go into the back of the telephone and so we enter the telephone and install a plug. In this case, this has already got a factory notch for the line cord and so and then one in front for the handset cord. So so that we don't have to be invasive on this telephone because you know, if she goes back to the uh, original body sometime, if something happens to this one, we don't want to have to notch out the case on the body that we're going to use, the cover we're going to use. So uh, basically what we want to do here is go ahead and hardwire our transformer into the back of this telephone and that will be less invasive. We won't have to cut on the body or, or the cover and we won't have to uh, cut in the base of the telephone really. So it'll make it a lot simpler and we'll just hardwire it. And I want to do it that way so that uh, if Pam ever wants to go to her original cover, she can go right back to it and she doesn't have to notch anything out on the cover and take the chance of the cover uh, being uh, ruined or, you know, crack it or anything like that. So we're going to uh, start this uh, conversion right now. And this telephone does have a modular port adapter on it. Somebody has installed it. I've checked it. It works. Might as well use it. It's there. Uh, it could always be replaced in the in the future if need be, but it, you know it's working. So why replace it? It's, it's probably going to be just fine. So we're going to try to get some video of this uh, conversion as we move along. Now while we're in this telephone, we also want to go through the handset because we're going to be changing it to this handset and we want to make sure everything's working. We want to go through the dial here 
and make sure it seems a little sluggish. We'll go through that dial. We'll make sure it's oiled, cleaned, and adjusted. Now this telephone is not going to ring. It's an early model and it does not have a bell. And I have this cover off, so I'm going to set everything aside. And the covers that are to go on this telephone are marked by Pam. So what you're going to see here is you're going to see a, a lead weight that they put in them. And so they, you know, they don't have a bell in them. There's no place to put a bell. It just wouldn't fit. And so we want to go through that. But I want to give you a look at the inside of this telephone if you've never really seen one of these Princess telephones without a bell. And to the period of this telephone, you know, she's got a, uh, the 12th month of uh, 1960. So this telephone's been around a while. And they assumed that you had a bell box in your home at that time. And if you didn't have a bell box, a lot of times there was a, a bell box that usually went with a Princess telephone. And when the telephone company was out installing this telephone in your home, they would install that transformer so the light would light into the dial here that sits in this area here where the light does. And it lights up the dial so you can see. And they would install that transformer and they would install a bell also. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take a short break from the video and get some uh, video of this as we move along in the progress of uh, the conversion and repair of this telephone. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and we're going to kind of go through a little bit about what went on. We've installed our transformer, and this is the cord that runs from the transformer to the inside of the telephone. And like we talked about earlier, I wanted to hardwire the transformer into the telephone so that we wouldn't have to cut on any of the covers. And so that uh, made for a nice, clean connection, and it's hardwired. And it's, uh, you know, there's no guessing to it now. And the transformer won't be able to get away from the telephone, and uh, maybe somebody come up and plug the wrong transformer into it someday. We have our LED installed in the original socket here. And so we've also went through the telephone, and we actually found that they, the, someone has worked on this telephone before, and we knew that, and they actually had the light wired improperly. So we got that straightened out. We also went through the rotary. We cleaned, oiled, and adjusted the rotary, and uh, we're going to test all that, but it's a much smoother action now on the rotary. So there's a switch in the back of these Princess telephones, and in one position, we're going to kind of show you the switch. We've also installed the uh, second handset and wired that so that uh, Pam can start using it. She had it marked here, so we're going to leave that on there. And we're going to return her uh, other handset and other cover. In this position to the right, uh, the switch will uh, actually cause, when you hang up the handset, the LED to go out. And so when you pick up the telephone, then you have light. And then when you press the hook switch down or put the handset down, it goes off. So now what we want to do is we want to switch the switch in the other position because now the light never turns off. And it's kind of like a night light. And Pam won't have to worry about uh, the light getting hot now because LEDs do not... Uh, consume very much uh, energy so it'll stay nice and cool and it's very bright it's a lot brighter than the original bulb would be as you can tell and I want to switch my switch because I want to turn my light off I want to show uh, that we hardwired the uh, power cord into the telephone. So that's all been taken care of. We also secured the original cord. They didn't really have it secured. They just kind of had it uh, stuck in there and, uh, you know, I guess kind of hoping it just wouldn't come out because they kind of stuck it in there and bent it around and it was uh, kind of wedged in there. So we got that straightened out. So we kind of went through a little bit of everything in this telephone. Now what we want to do is we want to put our base on this telephone. 
make sure that's secure. Okay, we took a short break there because what I want to show you is on these covers, this was the original cover and then this was the cover that Pam acquired and if you notice there's no standoffs for the hook switch. So what we want to do now is we want to peel this piece of tape off and we'll just put it in a different position that Pam had marked this cover with because this is the cover she wants to use. And so now what we need to do is we need to remove, and we'll go ahead and do that, we need to remove the uh, little brackets that hold the standoffs for the hook switch in. Okay, we are finished up with installing our standoffs into this second cover that we're going to be using. So we can go ahead and put the telephone back together again. And that kind of gives you a look at the telephone. We can go ahead and uh, we don't have to do it right now to do our final checks, but we'll tighten our cover up in a little bit. We want to go ahead and set the handset down. And like I said earlier, if you flip the switch in the back, it's a night light and stays on all the time. And so whether you hang it up or you use the telephone, and I can turn the lights out, and that'll give you an idea of how that looks. We'll turn it on as a night light all the time. We'll go ahead and turn the lights back on. I want to go ahead and plug the telephone in. This telephone doesn't have a bell, so there's no sense in trying to ring the telephone, but what we can do is check everything out. Give you some dial tone since the handset was changed, including the receiver and transmitter. We'll go ahead and dial through our numbers if you watch the analyzer. I want to end in a two, and now I want to transmit into the handset. So if you watch the red light on the analyzer, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six, hello, hello. So what we know that this telephone is receiving, transmitting, it's dialing out. It had all those functions for the most part when the telephone came in, but we had to go through the rotary, clean oil and adjust that, switch the handset, transmitter, receiver, line cord or handset cord, we also installed our transformer cord for our power, and that's hardwired to the telephone. Now what we can do is move the telephone over to a regular line, and what we'll do is uh, call a time and temp number. Give you some dial tone. number we can call my number and it'll be busy so now that we know that this telephone has been repaired and converted to an LED lighting situation, it's going to consume a lot less power and it's not going to 
heat up inside the telephone like they used to on the bulbs. And you know the power supplies on the original equipment would get pretty hot. Now with any kind of a transformer you always want to keep an eye on it. This is a really cool telephone and she's got another handset and uh, cover so you know I'm sure she's going to have this phone for a long time and get lots of enjoyment out of it. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching. And have a great day.